Via drone, the billowing smoke is located some 8,200 feet from the Hummingbird Highway near the Rancho de la Lomas farm. But it can be seen from a distance, substantial smoke coming through the canopy of the thick, lush forest of the Maya Mountains. It started on Saturday and has been smoking ever since. Well, my sister was here on Saturday and noticed this day, um, the this, this steam coming out of the ground. We thought it was just some clouds. There are always clouds coming out of the ground here. And um, didn't pay much mind until we noticed that the rest of the clouds had gone. <laughs> and the uh, steam was coming from one particular spot and really quite white. A report that it may be a fire was ruled out because it has continued despite the recent rains. So I thought, well, OK, maybe it's a hot, hot spring. But that didn't quite figure because it's high up in the mountains. That only left steam. There's nothing else it could be. So what is causing the steam is the problem. And that would have to be hot rocks of some kind with water falling on the rocks and coming, coming up with steam. So something is either heating up the rocks from below or the water is filtering down to the hot rocks and coming back up as steam. And I expect that's what the geologists will have to establish. Dr. Jeffrey Frankson has been living at the farm for two years, but this was the first time he had witnessed something like this. The Department of Geology was called to investigate and today they visited the area, but due to the terrain, a trek to the area had to be rescheduled for a later date. However, a number of residents from the area made the trip earlier this week and documented the experience. Ustedes pueden observar esto. Mira, ya se mira lo mero, macizo. Sí. Eh, como pueden ver, todavía no hemos llegado exactamente al punto, pero ustedes pueden observar. Oh, se me está calentando los pies. Uy, chica. Pueden observar allá eh, si observa el río Sibún. Como ustedes saben que Aquí andamos en un riesgo peligroso. Eh, sí, aquel que se mira allá es el río. Pues, como pueden ver, miren estas piedras. Miren qué extrañas, cortadas. Eh, no se sabe, pero es algo como de Dios. The one of the workers here had been up there. He had seen the, 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 the steam before. And he's very familiar with the hills. So they had been up. And um, he called me and said he, he wanted to tell me what he had seen. And that's how I found out what he had seen. And we discussed it. And I then called Mr. Andrew Cho with a friend of mine mm. to find out more about what he thought was happening. Let's talk about what your uh, foreman said he saw, no? About? Uh, what he saw up there. Well, he saw um, trees had been burnt, but not with fire. The area is obviously very hot. So he stayed a safe distance away. But from where he was, he could see that there was, um, there was a lot of heat. And of course, the steam coming virtually out of the ground from where he could, he could stand. He couldn't quite figure out what it was, which is when he um, decided he was going to come and talk to me about it. There is no information at this time to suggest any sort of volcanic activity, and an expedition to the area is being scheduled in the days ahead. After doing some online research, Dr. Frankson believes that it is a steam vent. Well, I looked up steam vents because I assumed that's what it was. I still think that's what they'll find. And they said, yes, that's what happens when you get a crack in the ground and water seep seeps down to hot rocks below. Um, if the mantle is thin enough, it might be as far as the magma itself. But in any case, there's a lot of heat down there. And if the water seeps down there and meets enough heat, it will evaporate and return to steam and come back up. But it's not under pressure, so there won't be a geyser, which is what you get in places like um, the Yellowstone Park mm -hmm. in the States and so on. So this is just steam coming back up from hot rocks. Well, this is not a volcanic area. There are no volcanoes around here. This is not volcanic soil. None of these mountains are volcanic. The mantle is thick, Mr. Cho tells me. And a thick mantle means that you're not going to get an eruption. So there's not going to be an eruption of lava. Not many be a volcano. Dwayne Moody for News 5.